Hi, my name is Nicole Albertson and I'm an Extender Product Specialist with E1 Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at how Extender Inquiries can be used to take the Extender window set up on one GP window and add it to another Microsoft Dynamics GP window. We will add the Customer Contacts Extender window that is already set up on our Customer Maintenance window as an inquiry on the Sales Transaction Entry window. So let's look at the Extender window that we already have set up on our Customer Maintenance. To do this I'm going to go to Cards, Sales, Customer. If I pull up Aaron Fitz as a customer and go to Additional, we're going to see that I have a Customer Contacts window there. In opening the Customer Contacts window, we can see that we have the sales contact information that we've previously entered for Aaron Fitz. So now I'm going to open the Extender window by going to Extender under Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Extender, Extender. From here, I want to go to Windows and select our Customer Contact window. From our Customer Contact window, we need to add an inquiry to the Sales Transaction Entry window. To do this, we need to click the Inquiry button and then click the Add button next to the Inquiry section. First, we need to enter a description and this is going to be the name of the window that we see on the Sales Transaction Entry window. So I'm just going to call this Customer Sales Contacts. The next thing we need to do is select the actual window that we want to use, first selecting the product that window exists in, the series is from, and then the actual form that we want to use. So I'm going to scroll down to the Sales Transaction Entry window here. And we want it on the main Sales Transaction Entry window, so I'm going to leave that as my window. One of the most common features on an inquiry window is the read-only option. By doing this, the data can be viewed from the sales transaction entry window, but cannot be modified. It can only be edited from the customer maintenance window. So I'm going to mark that so that we can see how that feature works. You can also see that I can add hotkeys, and if I need to, use an alternate key. I'm going to click Save here, and OK, and then Save my window. And now that we have that inquiry set up, let's see what that looks like on the Sales Transaction Entry window. So back on our main GP window, I'm going to go to Transactions, Sales, Sales Transaction Entry. I'll just enter a document here for Aaron Fitz, since we know we have data in Extender for him. Now if I go to Additional, I see my Customer Sales Contacts and I can see that same data that I saw on the customer maintenance window. And as you can see, this is grayed out. I can't type, I can't change anything in this window, so it is a read-only window. So hopefully this demo got you thinking about how you might be able to use the inquiries and extender to show your end users the data they need to use, either being editable or not, on multiple windows in GP.